bold style type characteristic. Uh, first characteristic would be a wedge serif. You'll see that the serif itself uh, comes to a point or at least thins as it moves along the length. Uh, the serifs are also angled down into the font or up into the font, depending on where the serif is located. Uh, and there's usually some cupping uh, that, that kind of augments that wedge look. Uh, but all three of those would be important characteristics for a type. You'll see that there's also a bracketing or filleting that happens between the stem and the serif so that that edge is sort of smooth. You kind of glide from the, the stem into the serif. You'll also see that the stem itself is splayed, uh, which means that there's a thicker top than bottom or middle to the to the serif. Uh, it augments that top heavy look that there's also a, a little bit of thin thick contrast and a very gradual transition between that thin thick contrast. Uh, so it's not a real dynamic look here. It's uh, subtle. Um, and you'll see that there's a very significant biased or diagonal stress. The letter forms are usually very even, so very rounded. Um, they don't have a kind of a tall look that we'll see in a modern typeface. Uh, it's very even. To 